Hello, today we are going to look at some secrets of your document camera. Most of you already use your document camera on a daily basis, so I want to show you a few things that you might find quite interesting about the document camera that you probably do not already use. So to get to your document camera, you would double click on your Sphere 2 icon here, and your document camera will come up. Try that again. There we go. So whatever you put underneath your document camera, it will be shown on the screen. And you have these little icons down here. So let's start with this very first icon. It looks like a lens and it says camera controls. So if you hover over each one of these things, it will tell you what it does. One thing that most people don't know about the document camera that's kind of eye-opening is this right here will make it full screen. And everybody's always amazed by that because they've missed that icon this whole time. So when we click on this little camera lens, it brings up a toolbar. If you move your mouse around, the toolbar will often disappear. So if you click on this little tack right here, the tack will hold the toolbar in place. This toolbar is simply ways to adjust your image. So for example, if you want to um, enhance your image, you can click on the enhancing button to zoom in manually. Here, you can use your mouse and zoom back out. Right here, you can flip or rotate your image. So if you have your object on the screen and it looks really good, you don't want to mess with moving it around, you can just flip the image that way. And then this one is a way to adjust color and contrast, which we will not look at today. The next tool is right here. This is your annotation tool, which gives you the opportunity to annotate over whatever you have on the screen. You can change the color by changing the color palette. You can change the thickness of your writing utensil. You can draw different things. You can create text if you click the text button. You can create shapes, different shapes on the screen. You can do this to hide things. If you want to erase objects, you can get your eraser. The broom will erase everything that's on the screen. And then you have your undo and your redo buttons here. The next little icon is what people really don't know that they have on the document camera, and that is the ability to record your screen which is great for when you have students who are absent. Um, if you're doing a note-taking thing that you need to record and share perhaps on your web page, if you need to record a homework help lesson or a review lesson that you can post to your website, uh, you can use your document camera to do that right as you're writing on the, document on the object underneath the document camera. So you click this right here and you are given the option to record. So if I click record, you can tell that it is recording here in the corner and the timer is ticking. You still have access to all of your tools. You can come up here and annotate. You can change your lesson. You can type text over your notes. When you're done recording, you hit the pause button. Oh, record again, sorry and your recording will automatically be saved. So this media file is automatically saved on your computer, and I'll show you something really cool you can do with that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and look at this next icon. It looks exactly like an old Polaroid, and that's exactly what it does. It can capture an image. along the way, you can do that pretty easily. This is one, uh, a tool that most people don't want to have. It's a revealer tool. You can change the surface to, um, to entice the kids. You can change the scope to a rectangle. You can change the scope to a rectangle. Reveal a whole page. So you can grab this from the top of the right. You can tie it from the bottom. Wait, 
Whoops, I missed it. From the bottom? From either side. So if you're working on something underneath the document camera that you do not want the kids to see, one time you can use this really helpful. Same time, it's always free. Whiteboard feature. Document okay, camera, it works just the same. Up arrow right here, you can upload your media. Click on that. Upload it automatically to your Google Drive, to your YouTube account, your choice of how you would like to share your media file. And so that is a quick time saver for those of you who like to post things to your web page or you need to embed um, into Symbaloo. You can use these links right there to embed it into a Symbaloo really easily. So I've taught you some tricks that perhaps you did not already know about your document camera. If there's anything else I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. I will come and help you as best as I can. Let me know and I will do whatever I can do to make using your document camera uh, a little bit.